Evening all, welcome to another episode of The Harrowing. I'm your host, Alec. And I'm your host, Ellie. <laughs> and we're going to delve into strange, unsolved tales together. Relax, get comfortable, and keep the lights on because you'll need them. <sighs> it's great to be back after such a long break from the show. Did you miss us? Telling by the crazy amount of fan letters we received over the break, I take a wild guess and say, Yes? <laughs> we can't say we don't love it either. We've been sifting through the lovely words and gifts you all left us, and it's really been a treat. We even saw some of our regular listeners amongst the bunch. We're as happy to be back as you guys are. That's right, Ellie. Speaking of regular listeners, I don't think it would hurt to start off the show reading a few of their letters, do you? Not at all, brother. This first one is from our lovely listener, Dimitri. Dimitri says, Hey, Alec and Ellie. Wishing you guys good luck on renovating and relaxing. Have fun, be careful, and can't wait to have my favorite spooky twins back to listen to on my commute home. Aw, Dimitri, you're a sweetheart. We hope tonight's show will be worth the wait. Be sure not to get too spooked on your way home. We can't be held responsible for any heart attacks and or ghostly apparitions. This next one is from our hilarious listener, Marie. Marie says, Hope you're enjoying your time off. Don't get abducted by aliens and replaced by doppelgangers. I'll be upset if I have to find another radio show to listen to. <laughs> well, rest assured, we're the real deal. Also, you could never replace us even if you tried. Ah, let's do one more. It's from our favorite little mystery themselves, Night Anon. For those of you who are new to the show, our Anani is one of our most dedicated listeners. We've received countless letters from them over the past few years, and they never cease to make our day brighter. It seems this time they even sent us some gifts. A copy of Alec's favorite band on vinyl? Nani, you're a godsend. If I could kiss you right now, I would. And, uh... Sign copy of my favorite book? Oh, Nani, you shouldn't have. What's the letter say? Let's see. Dear Alec and Ellie, missing you guys lighting up my week like always. I've been waiting to send you both a little something, but now seems like the best time because I have some good news. Recently, I got a raise at my job. That's wonderful. Congratulations, Nani. Also, the cute new employee at work confessed that they've had their eye on me for a while and asked me out today. Isn't that great? They're such a sweetheart and I'm really excited to get to know them. I feel on cloud nine and I just wanted to spread the happiness to you two. Can't wait to hear you back on the radio waves again. With love, your Nani. That's really nice, Nani. We had no idea someone had their eye on you. Not a clue. Um, well, I think that's enough for letters tonight. We'll delve into the mysterious world of the dark web in just a few moments. Stay tuned after this short commercial break. This can't be happening. There's no way this could be happening. How could we have possibly missed this? When did they send the letter? It's dated yesterday. It must have happened while we were finishing up our preparations. Ugh. This wasn't supposed to happen. We were so close. Nothing was supposed to be in our way. Well, our plan isn't totally dead. Think about it. Our original idea can still work. We just have to do a little extra damage. Perhaps the pest that threw a wrench in our plans actually saved them. What do you mean, brother? <laughs> it was already going to be suspicious if we made our little Nani go missing out of the blue. However, 
if it happened the same night they went out with someone they didn't know so well. Well, doesn't that just sound textbook criminal? Time's almost up, sister. What do you think? So, maybe we don't need to spill the pest brains ourselves after all. The evidence we plan will surely do the work for us. Why, the only logical suspect would be so very, very obvious. And we're back! Let's be honest, in this day and age, it's hard to avoid falling down internet rabbit holes. Evening all. Welcome to another episode of The Harrowing. I'm your host, Ellie. And I'm your host, Alec. And today, we'd like to start off our show a little differently. For those of you who may be out of the loop, it was recently discovered that a young person went missing the other night after meeting up with a co-worker on a date. The police believe all the evidence points towards this date as a suspect, but the victim has not yet been found and the suspect is denying any knowledge of their whereabouts. We bring this up because we were notified by a friend of the victim that they were an avid listener of our show, our dear knight Anon. This absolutely breaks our heart and we cannot quite put into words how painful it is to know that they're out there, probably alone and scared, with no one to help them. Perhaps it could be even worse than that. But we won't entertain that idea. One minute, brother. I... I believe there is still alive out there. We can only hope that the evil bastard who hurt them faces punishment to the fullest extent of the law. You're right, sister. We apologize for starting off the show so sadly tonight, but we simply ask for all of your prayers and well wishes that our sweet Nani is safe. With that being said, we dedicate this episode of The Harrowing to you, Nani. We can't wait to hear from you again. Careful, brother. You'll spill their dinner. Yeah, yeah. I'm being as careful as possible. Would it kill you to turn on a light in here? They're blindfolded. They won't be able to see us anyway. Huh? Oh, Ellie. Go and gag them. They're trying to talk. We're sorry, Nani. Your jaw must hurt from being gagged like this all the time. We just don't want you to scream your pretty little lungs out in vain, you know? Here, we brought you dinner. Oh, come now. Don't be so stubborn. You need to eat. You've been refusing us for days now. <sighs> Next thing you know, you'll be but skin and bones. And we can't have our nani in pain, hmm? Now open your mouth. Nani, we've talked about this. Why would we want to hurt you? You can trust us. We're still the same twins you confided in not so long ago. You've just sped up the natural process of our relationship. That's all. There's no use trying to bargain with us. You won't be getting anywhere close to outing us anyway. Our great-grandfather's cabin is very far from civilization. And even if you were to break free, you'd just as quickly be devoured by the other beasts that roam these woods at night. Really, Nani, you're much safer with the two beasts that love you. Maybe they'd feel better if they could see us. Do you think so? I... don't want them to be disappointed. They're going to have to see us sometime. Perhaps it'll ease their worries if they see our faces. People rarely do. If anyone is to know all of us inside and out, I think our Nani deserves to be the one. The only. One. You're right. Okay. <sighs> Nani, we're going to take your blindfold off. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. three. Now. Why don't you relax and do as we tell you, hmm? 
and will be as gentle as possible with you until you get the hang of it. We don't want to scare you, but the stories we tell on our show come nowhere close to us. If it's any consolation, there's nothing much scarier than the two of us. You're safest in the eye of the hurricane. And aren't you lucky to be loved by the scariest things you ever did see?